BMW E46 models have four solid rubber jacking pads, slightly behind the front wheels and slightly in front of the rear wheels, as indicated by the green arrows. The jack pads are designed to support the vehicle from below when using a hoist, a hydraulic jack, or when changing a tire in an emergency situation. This is where you will place a jack stand to support the vehicle when working with vehicle raised, green arrow. If a jack pad is missing, replace it before jacking up the vehicle. Otherwise, body damage can occur. This photo shows the jack pad area with missing jack pad. Jack pads just snap into the hole in the body as indicated by the green arrow. To replace a jack pad, pull out the center expanding rivet, green arrow, then pry the jacking pad out of the body. If you have a hard time getting the center rivet out, you can pry the jack pad out while still engaged, but you might damage the jack pad. This photo shows snapping a new jack pad in place. Then push the center rivet in using the handle of a screwdriver. It will push in easily. If your filter is bent like the one shown, inspect your filter housing and filter cover for oil filter debris. A broken piece of filter will jam and crush the new filter when you tighten the cover. Install wheel chocks to block the wheels that are not being jacked. This will help to keep the vehicle from unexpectedly rolling. Do not assume the parking brake or transmission will hold the vehicle. Wheel chocks are a must. There is not enough room to jack and support the vehicle in the jack pad area at the same time. When using a hydraulic floor jack to lift the front of the vehicle, place the hydraulic floor jack under the steel box section of the body, the area highlighted in green. Raise the vehicle slowly while monitoring the jack and the vehicle's position. Once you've reached the desired height, install the jack stand at the jack pad location to support the vehicle. Slowly lower the vehicle onto the jack stand until the full vehicle's weight is supported. Check that the jack stands are not tilting or moving when the vehicle is lowered. You can add a second jack stand under the steel box section of the body for added support. When lifting the rear of the vehicle, there is not enough room to jack and support the vehicle in the jack pad area at the same time. When using a hydraulic floor jack to lift the rear of the vehicle, Place the hydraulic jack under the center of the rear differential, indicated by the green arrow. Raise the vehicle slowly while monitoring the jack and the vehicle's position. Since you are raising the center rear of the vehicle, I suggest placing jack stands under both rear jack pads. This will make it easier to keep the vehicle level while lowering it onto the jack stands. Once you've reached a desired height, install a jack stand at the jack pad location to support the vehicle. Slowly lower the vehicle onto the jack stands until the full weight is supported. Check that the jack stands are not tilting or moving when the vehicle is lowered. You can leave the hydraulic jack under the rear differential for added support. When lowering your vehicle, raise it off the jack stands, then remove the jack stands from beneath the vehicle and slowly lower the vehicle to the ground. Make sure all tools and parts are clear before lowering your vehicle. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.